Okay guys, so now as I already showed you, as I replaced the socket, uh, that was like six months ago, and uh, I had a failure with the socket the other day, so of course I put my colored up light bulbs for the holidays, for Christmas, and uh, the one bulb in the socket went out. So I was like, oh, maybe the bulb just burned out. Well, it's actually even worse than that. The socket broke, which I'm kind of upset about because I recently put this socket, I replaced this socket six months ago with a new one and it broke. So, as you can see, you already see the failure. As you can see, the terminal burned right off. I don't know what happened. It, you can tell it looks like it, it like melted right off. Like, I don't know how in the heck that happened, but I had a BR38 bulb that was in here. That's, of course, the color bulbs I use, BR38 bulbs. I don't know if it was the bulb or really the socket, but see it burned right off so we have to replace a we have to replace the socket again which that's not going to be that good but of course as i already said i redid the, a new gasket on this so hopefully we'll still be able to reuse that new gasket that i put on there but i'm gonna have to put in a whole new socket so went to lowe's yesterday picked up the same socket that i used his last time so of course, I would probably like to get more of those older ones because those older ones were better quality, but I just decided to get the same one again because you know, I might as well get it. Plus, this was the last one that they had at Lowe's, so I just got what I needed and that's what we're going to put back in. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in that same style socket. So, this video will be socket failure repair, so that's what I'm going to call the video because that's kind of what it is. It's a socket failure repair, so zoom it right into this so you can see that i'm going to show replacing this as well as where i showed you where the socket was broken so um now what i'll probably end up doing is i'll be salvaging the socket so only things i'll probably be salvaging off of this are the gaskets because the gaskets are still good um paper mache gasket's still good inside of there probably end up you can end up taking the socket out which that shouldn't be too hard uh, I guess before we start this process, let me grab the new one and, uh, well, yeah, well, actually we'll just go ahead and take it out first. So, let's go ahead and undo this. Yes, this is getting, like, torn off the wall for at least the second time now because the socket went bad, so... The one thing about this one is it's a little more harder to do because this one has the pancake junction box. As I might have showed you, uh, it was back in October, I think. Yeah, um, I had a socket go bad, and that was on one of the rectangular junction boxes. And that one was fairly easier to do because with the rectangular junction box, you have a lot more wire space in there, and it's easier to fold the wires into place. But yeah go ahead and pry this open again um, so we'll just tilt this back um, looks like it's been doing a good job keeping the water the water out um, as I don't see any new rust marks in the inside of the pancake junction box so that's that's good um, I'll show you what we got here As you can see so what we'll have to undo is we'll have to undo that ground screw and and uh, rewire this so i'll have to make sure the wire caps are in the same position that they are in now for in order for this to work so go ahead and do that so i guess we're going to try and see if we can reuse the back plate gasket which that's what i'm going to try and do so we'll see see what happens with that um, so I guess what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and open up a new socket, um, just so I can get the same, oh, just so I can get the same position on the socket, um, so that way all of my positions on the socket are correct, or, yeah, so my adjustments are on there, right, so put that up there. Yeah, I lucked out that they only had um, one of these sockets left at low, so that worked out pretty well. 
I was gonna end up buying two there yesterday, but I only had one, so just grab one and good, pretty much good to go. Um, so we'll just use this one that I was able to get. I have to stock up on more of these sockets. I think next time when I need another socket, I'll try the Home Depot ones because the Home Depot ones are kind of identical to the original ones that I have installed now. So, yeah. Oh, this one's got a different sticker on that. Look at that. There's the new UL tag on that. I think this one has a. Yeah, this one has a gold sticker on it. I did like how that one had a gold sticker. So this one was a little more. That one, this was a little bit older. This one's more of a, a newer one, so. Hopefully this one doesn't have that failure problem too, so. Let's go ahead and set up the adjustments. Make sure the adjustments are correct. So let's see, we're gonna have to flip this around. Um, let's see here. It's gonna wanna turn here. So, let's see, yeah, our socket was like this. All right, so, let's see here. We're gonna have to figure out how to do the uh, threads on this, because you gotta make sure this is aligned correctly so it can accommodate a par 38 ball, which that's what we're trying to do, so. All right, let's go ahead and start by unwiring this. So we'll go ahead and undo the neutrals and the ground so we'll just continue to reuse these same wire caps as nothing seems to be wrong with them so we'll just reuse those wire caps again no big deal there um, go ahead and undo this uh, hot wire i'll still check the caps yeah the caps are still in great condition so we'll just reuse those back up again um you might want to twist the wires a little bit better on this. Uh, I guess they are still kind of making a connection there. Um, go ahead and undo this. Um, go ahead and undo the ground. Just take the screw out completely so we can reuse it. just reuse the grounding screw off of this one so it'll make things a little easier here all right now we just gotta unthread this out all right let's move this one because that one's gone bad i'm gonna go ahead and put the new one in make sure our gasket's still aligned the way it was before. Go ahead and get our new wires in. Oops, shoot, that wasn't supposed to. I'm gonna have to get that. Let's see, um, I'm trying to think how this was. I think it was sticking out about that far, I would say. And then it was tilted back. Let's see, let's get this little loose here. Yeah, that's about, that's perfect right there. Just grasp that and turn it. There we go. So make sure that's good. Yep, that's about perfect right there. Of course, the socket will have to be angled back. Let's go ahead and put our gasket on here. Um, make sure it's it's get seated in the way I had it before, which 
think it was just like this. I'm trying to remember how the gasket was in the place. It might have been like this. Yeah, I think it was like this. So, get our gasket seated back in there. Um, it's looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take this grounding screw out. Put the other grounding screw in. So let's see here. Go ahead and put it in this one. go that one's fully secured I'll just reuse the same grounding screw it's, I mean it doesn't really matter if we reuse the same grounding screw anyways but so there we go we're, we're officially grounded back on here and let's see here now let's do our wire caps I don't know if we'll have to make our wires a little bit longer might let's see. I'm gonna twist this a bit too because it's not really perfect when I did this. It's a little bit better than it was. Yeah, that's a little bit. It's actually a lot better because because the thing is when you're doing electrical work like this, you want to make sure that your wires are going to be nice and great. See, this is see this right here this is a better connection so this is what we want this one I think will still be okay all right so let's do our hot first it doesn't really matter in this case like that. Grab our wire cap. Go ahead and twist that. Right. Give that a little tug, make sure it's good. Make sure we're nice and secure. It's always very important to make sure your wiring is nice and secure. That one can go ahead and get tucked in there. Go ahead and do our neutral. Alright. see. It always ha it always helps to wrap the wire around as well when you're doing this. Um, let's go ahead and give this one a better wrap too. Uh, if I can try and do that, we'll see. Of 
course, this was the socket that had the uh, the wiring that we had to redo under the crawl space. Um, so this is the one that we had to redo the whole Romex to um, because the Romex went bad. So, yeah. So it might need to be stripped out a little bit further. Yeah. No, I'm going to go grab my wire strippers and we're going to make a part two on this. So, anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day. And stay tuned for part two when we get finished up.